So if you are just starting your inventory mirror account, one of the first things that you're going to need to do is create your list of vendors with which to deal. Most of our inventory mirror information is housed underneath the inventory tab and then down here under this subcategory of inventory mirror. So we'll scroll down to vendors. You'll have no vendors to begin with, and you'll go ahead and create one simply by clicking Create New Vendor. When we're here, the only thing that is a requisite is the display name, which has to be unique for each vendor. So for this vendor, we'll call it Joe's Things. External ID if you're using an external source to keep track of this vendor, but we'll go ahead and negate that for right now. Fill in a little bit of address information. Great, 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 great. And that's all filled out. Create vendor, and it's that painless. Vendor is now created. The information you put in is now read back to you right here, with the exception of two extra columns here the catalog items column, which will be dealt with in a video further on the line here, and the delete button, which is available to you only if you have created a vendor but not done any business with them, otherwise we do need to keep track of the vendor information in our database.